That was a zero recovery. Side key, force me, makes you off stage. There's the 
is one of the min very big strengths of Pokemon Trainer, having three different characters in one, thus having three different recovery options. Side B lead gets worth his big off stage. And it's a very interesting smash attack point. Gets the back air. And takes take the first game. Gotten close to recover anything, anyways. A nice landing there. But there's what I call up air, the famous Ivy Tour up air. A terrifying threat indeed. Yes, the mayor will do it. Cloud recovery, not great. Nice forward smash. Get the upbeat. Get the back to this is fun. Currently, Gank's two has the momentum. Can he finish out? Oh, that. Yep, that is gonna get him punished. Not gonna die. Charizard at a heavy kick. Wait and see. Oh no, and S the SD with a side B, that is unfortunate. Big taking Ralph taking that match.
Looks like we have some people, some booming off going down, down in the screen. I have been told not to question it, but this is America. We are allowed to question everything. Not at all. Yeah. One, go! Get, getting it on. Dig off to a good start with the forward air. Just putting that big giant forward to you. Oh, nearly getting the finishing touch, and that would have probably been the stop, too. But now this, it, it's actually even. Nothing can hit, but the Nair catching it and Dan doing the Uppy. Nope, the Uppy and not finding the mark, it, the hit there. No, he is not. Going for the second, but back there is going to take the first stop. Nice landing there. Went tried to go for a forward smash frame trap, but it didn't work out. He's gonna get the forward smash punish on that upbeat. Trying to get caught by the phantom, and that will be his first stop. Take it. Nice up. Getting 
get caught by the last bit of the, the cross flash, get another cross flash, and they just have a 100% lead. And again, it is Zelda. Just a, just not, oh, the, it did kill! Dang! Limit! Cross flash is no. nothing better! Side beat. I'm not gonna get that for a punish, but just like that, back air out of shield evens it the game right back up. You, you have to be careful when pressuring Zelda's shield, just because the for her forward and back air are crazy strong. Is gonna get the full forward there in three spot. It goes just long enough to avoid the sun. He gets caught by the forward smash. And once again, takes time his way back to stage. Doesn't get caught. But yeah, just like that, another back air. What did I say? You pressure Zelda on shield with your own wrist. <laughs> Pog Ban indeed. Player layout. Three, two, well, see one, if Dan can go. take game two. Nice landing there. Yeah. Odd point, but it's gonna get punished with an up B there. No, that, no, that phantom is gonna get stuff. Get the grab. Just converts it into an up air. Catches the ring, the roller. Nice pr nice trap in there. Doesn't get the the cross flash. Was that a combo off of the knife? Nicely done. Get the forward a forward air. Oh, that was a really nice hard read attempt, but it just didn't quite find its mark. <laughs> oh yeah, oh never mind, the uh, up B isn't gonna work there. That should have been his stop. die here. Yeah, Definitely yeah. gonna die to finishing touch. And we're gonna go into game three. Finishing touch is 
Not often you get to you see that group land. So that was sick indeed. I, I know that he practices some confirms, but he also knows the he knows the the hitbox pretty well, so. Uh, Jordan practice is, is making perfect here, uh, and we're jumping into game three. Looks like we're going to head over to town, maybe? Oh, maybe not. We're going to FD. Uh, I can only assume that this one may be not very fun for class. Going to have to deal with a lot of projectiles on the ground. Uh, no, no real platforms to speak of. Uh, there's nothing really we can do. Three, two, one, go! And now we have uh, Jacob joining us here on stream. Hopefully we fixed the, the mics. Uh, hopefully you can hear us now. Maybe, maybe that's a little better. Um, so we're, we're in game three. We've got a lightning kick, not the sweet spot, but finds the F smash. We do see limit. He's gonna make it back, but oh, and gets the spike off ledge. Good awareness there. Dan getting a little greedy. That shield looking a little small. Oh, and could not, could not shield that phantom. I think it would have broken his shield. And there we go. Cloud not making it back from there. So far, it's a tie. Who do you think has the advantage in this area? Uh, we're about at evens right now, almost exactly at evens. So uh, we, we did see Dan take the first game and Jordan took the second. So we'll see who, who takes advantage here. Well, they both have equal parts here. Zelda, Princess Zelda, she's best for range attacks and for dodging, while Cloud is quick and be able to move, move fast with his attacks of the sword. Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of range on those. Finds the up B, doesn't quite kill. Not quite at high enough percent for it to, but just the same. Sends him real far, Gets gives Dan a little minute to reset. Ooh, dash attack, not quite taking it. That move is a kill move. Wow. Now, I'm not super familiar with Zelda. I didn't know if he was making it back from there. She limit. Oh, uh, I meant I meant Dan. Apologize. Um, limit cross slash not finding its mark. But lightning kick is wow. Got the sweet spot deep into the move. That move is like the dollar store falcon kick that maybe works better. Gets the neutral beat, backs, backs him off a little bit. Dan, uh, Jordan's going to take this time to charge limit as Dan attempts to get back to stage. Uses it on blade beam, but gets the kill with back air. One on one. Oh yeah. And we're, this is about as neck as neck as we can get here in uh, in our winners matches here. Ooh, doesn't quite get the limit cross slash there. I don't know if it would have killed, but it certainly would have done a lot of damage. I agree. That armor may take a lot of time to recharge, but uh, with enough, it could do a very fatal blow. Oh yeah, limit limit is a, a great, great uh, comeback item in, in Cloud's kit. Gets a back throw, Phantom. Ooh, gets limit there. Smart. Jordan just to wait out the ledge, not not pushing him his luck there. But Phantom just barely killing. Very close match between the two. Great games. Clever using the armor to do a dodge to either get hit by the armor or dodge and get hit by me. Yep, exactly. That was a good trap. Alright, well, I'm gonna jump over to my match. Uh and then we'll see if Spencer can take over for me. Spencer, do you want to commentate? Okay. All right, no problem. I'll see if I can find somebody to commentate with you, whoever jumps onto the stream next. But uh, I got to go play my, uh, my loser's match. So I'll see you in oh a bit, boy. probably. No beat you. Uh, Osiris. Yeah, he, he's very good at Joker, and uh, I, I'm not that great at the game. So it's okay. It happens to the people in the world. <laughs>
Well, everyone, as we're waiting for the next round to start, I've been told that there may be a couple of new characters coming now. Crash Bandicoot and Magic Koopa. If you support these characters, then you should be excited that they may be coming out soon. Don't worry folks, the machine isn't broken. We're just waiting until the two next contestants are done in the, with the rounds they're already in. So please be a little patient. Okay, guys, we're about ready to start. Oh no, we have ourselves a controller on screen! Oh boy. Seems like someone's trying to play a joke and do a third player. And here we go. Zan versus Osiris. Zan, Zelda versus Snake. What do you think? Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a definitely an interesting one. I'd probably say... Honestly, I don't know. Zelda, Zelda's attacks focus on damage, even though they do take time while Snake's attacks are light, but are much quicker. Yeah, well, Snake just has a lot of diff explosions that cover the stage. Zelda's got a lot more the big attacks that, that cover large portions of the, of the stage. And Zelda has a reflector. Cer I, this is certainly one where Zelda can win if, with properly pressing this, this an advantage state. Personally, I don't think that Snake has what is good for these stages, like... And the, there we go, the terrifying power of forward or back and 
back air out of shield with Zelda. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't think Snake is best for these kinds of arenas because he's more suited for ones where you can get some distance from him. There, there are certain... Well, platforms are, are... He's one of those owners who favors platforms more than others just because he has so many projectiles to cover a bunch, which is a lot... Instead of trying to keep just keep as much distance as possible the entire match. He's a very unique type of zoner. Nice parry on the fort there. Call, calling out the roll. On. That that grenade is going to backfire. Gets caught by the... And it takes the stock. Oof. That, that is going to hurt. We might see... You might see Dan take the game one here. Well, let's see. Oh, dang. He cheeses him with the back, lingering back air. It, but also, Dan missed the tech. That's his fault. Yep. Sometimes that's just the way it is. And this is just, this right, right here just shows some of the differences in how how they zone. Like so far, Lunar Snake isn't able to put any damage on. Not as no. much as what Zelda's did to him. He was trying to go for a forward air trap. Which, his Snake's forward air is so slow that you generally can't land it on it by itself. This could... Oh, the... And the, it's out of there! The side B is gonna do it. Just... No. Uh, such a powerful edgeguarding edge tool. Dan taking game one. Nice, a very excellent job against those Cyrus. Let's see, how many rounds are in this game? Uh, while we wait, I'll just check the note. Still no. Yeah, I don't know why the, the tournament isn't showing up this week. So, Snake versus Joker. Yeah. Oh, he counterpicked the Joker. Yeah, jo Joker is definitely a better anti... Is definitely better at counter-zoning. So, so, after that game, makes sense that he pull, pulled Joker out. Joker is swift, good at range attacks, and... After a while, his da his damage doubles in size. I'm done. Yep, pretty close. He's definitely he definitely becomes straight up terrifying the moment Arsene's out, and Arsene is almost here. That is an art. It's our with Arsene that this really becomes an interesting matchup, just because his downbeat becomes a counter, which is huge against Zelda. Oh, does get caught with the landing upbeat. And the neutral B edge guard is gonna take cheese the take cheese out the stock there. Nice job by Dan. <laughs> the chat is going wild for Pog Dan. And, and he is indeed looking very Pog. He might very well be on the cusp of taking this. Yep. But don't count Osiris out. Doesn't quite get the edge guard there. But the F, the, a dash attack isn't going to do it. No, you. That's the thing. You you might think you have a free down. Reflect and then. But the. the and no, knows that you'll go for it and grabs you. And, trap, and in the process, you trap yourself for a guaranteed phantom. Well, Joker is going to pick there, it up because that, he's almost on his last line. And that was a, but that was a very nice combo by Osiris there. The fair into up air into up smash. Honestly, minus the fact you can't do combos on this, how good of players do you think they would be? Uh, who knows? Who knows? That's basically asking uh, what if they were playing Brawl. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is... As we saw, Dan caught Osiris waiting on on ledge too long. He really needs that tetra that Makara Karn isn't quite gonna work. Gets the forward smash, 
and Dan is on the cusp of taking this game. He took it. Dang! He, Dan is on fire tonight. And that's the end of this round, folks. Zelda went with the sweep. Yeah. Sending Osiris to loser's bracket, that is quite the upset here. Next, we just wait till the next round is started. Yep, all goes. I'll be right back seeing what if I'm up uh, for another match or not. Save here. Okay, really. Yeah, you totally sure? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, is this one the map one? Yeah, we can. And we have ourselves a, re a real good sport on going on stream. Offering to let, let another use his controller and using the Joy Cons. And this is looking to be a very, very odd match. K rule versus his Ryu. This one's definitely an interesting matchup. K rule a heavy boy who, with a lot of projectiles versus Ryu, uh, who's not as rushdown focused as Ken, but cer certainly has rushdown down as part of his pl his play style. Nope, not not gonna get the counter there. 
Not, not sure you can. Does get get caught by the counter. Gets a nice dash attack. Gets through the down air. Gets through the the blunderbuss. Nice forward air to get him off off the the ledge for. But the sure you can will take that stock. Gets caught by the, the cannonball, and the suck is able to take that that suck, and it's back to even. No, that way he's gonna get punished. Uzi just looking for the kill. Gets uh, Tatsumaki. He just needs one good... Uzi just needs one good hit here. Up, up there are not gonna come anywhere close to killing. Needs to be way higher percent. Gets clipped by the Nair. Just spamming! <laughs> yeah, you can't just spam counter people. Uzi definitely not show, exactly showing mastery of this character. The, the Tatsumaki lingering hit is gonna uh, clip him and Alien living to 213. Yes. And there's the shore you can finish the stock. Another shore you can. And it, I don't think I had to kill there, but I guess it worked. Gets a nice forward smash. Catches the roll. That was, that was the one, a, such a crazy read. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not alien, just not doing too hot here. Gets clipped by the Tatsumaki again, and the sure you can finishing the game. forgiven.
This time, Woozy pulling out the Dr. Mario. Not off to the greatest start, though. He is able to get back, but it's gonna get sent back off. Yeah, Dr. Mario is a really odd case. Despite Mario being a generally considered... Well, I am, I am called off for my match. I don't know how to deal with legs, especially not a dog.
because I did not want to take the one that did not have the DLC. Have Pig and Linkbane on screen. to recover. And the up smash is going to do it.
Game two. Well, I don't know what game it is, but here we. Nope, that is not safe. Good. Nice dodge of the neutral B hitting a. That is one thing about, that is the, the big thing about Hero, to balance out the insane power of his down B, his, his frame, the frame data on his moves is not the greatest. No, he gets caught in the kaboom. Not gonna use any of those options, none of them were looking too great in that situation, and there's the whack! Was that wacky? I think it was. It just kills at a random chance. At that percent, it's a pretty good chance, too. Is going to get able to recover there. Has enough the MP for the fully charged up B, but doesn't have the MP for the neutral B. Gets caught by the back air. Uh, I don't think it was, that was the wise choice to go for fully charged. Bringing the match right back to even. Isn't able to get the snooze. Gets the limit crit side, side B. Gets the back and the back air edge guard is gonna take the stock. Without the auto shield, it doesn't quite pan out there. Gets caught and oh he got limit break just in time to be able to recover. Gets forced off stage by the side B. Goes, stays out of kaboom. Very narrowly shields that neutral B. Forces pick off stage. Just goes for a simple heal. Yep, you charge the down smash like that, and you, you're just asking for punishment. Isn't doesn't quite get the roll read. Does get a uh, whiff punish on the down air. <laughs> Go, just went for it. And a nice 40% off of that one. Forces Link Bane back off stage. This is danger zone. If... Yeah, this should be able to get back. Doesn't get the back air ledge trap. Don't miss the back. Gets a back air there, though. She's just charging the uh, And at this point, all Big needs is one good read. And catches him with the limit break and neutral B, and that will be the match. Yeah, you have to be able to pick your choices and pick them what fast and well to maximize Hero's menu. It's such a weird move. It's the kind of move you have to balance an entire move set around just because it's so potentially good. Is this, are you guys playing friendlies or match? Uh, this is not a match. It's still losers, by the way. I know. What, what's your tag? Boggle. Boggle? Oh, you'll have to add it,
Here we go. on the up smash. Gets a nice forward air. But just like that, bringing it back. That was an excellent punish by Pig there. Facing it perfectly to punish the, the Wonder Wing with a forward smash. Taking a step the stock. Yeah, if, that might be a, a clip worthy moment right there. Nope, that is going to get shielded. That one's going to find its mark. Oh no, Wonder Wings the wrong way. That is a, a, so unfortunate. The, but that Wonder Wing is going to do its, do its job. Killing all, all the way from across the stage at 130. Going for landing back airs. Gets the the high recovery read. Does gives Pig the chance to charge limit, but that's not a good thing. Get is doing a nice job right now though. Not going to get that the the finishing touch there. Is going to get the cross slash punish on that down air. The, front is, the up smash gets stuffed out by a grenade. Tra interesting ledge trapping there. It doesn't. Pig just wisely waits off stage. The Wonder Wings are gone. That's. It's going to be a lot harder to win this, bring this game back without it. it gets caught by the lingering down air. That should be the stock. And Boggle is all, has brought it all, brought it back. To, <laughs> forgets that he has the, no more Wonder Wings and is gonna die for it. That is awkward. And now that I think about it, is it just me or are we getting a lot of pig on stream tonight? Guess you can say that he's being a real Pig for stream matches. forward air. Not going to get that side B, but does can get an up air out of the, the finished cross slash. Yeah, that, the limb right cross slash has pretty much almost no ending lag. Not going to get pull into that forward smash. Gets the back. Does get another back here. Just looking for another chance to. Gets the limit break cross slash, and that will be the first stock. Just charging it. Charging the league. Is going to get an up B, get punished out of shield the up B. Is 
And a nice frame trap by Uggle there, going for a forward smash off of the side B. Gets nicely shields the neutral B and is once again taking another stop with, with cross slash limit break. Gets another side B. Can Vlogle take another stock? Not, does, does get a parry, but isn't able to convert. That was a nice... Is going to get the parry punished that time. Wanted a forward air edge guard. Didn't quite find it. Oh no! Teleporting to SD! Oh, 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 oh no.
and I apologize, we forgot to have the Osiris and, and Woozy play on stream, so we'll be waiting for them to finish up before I go, go on stream against whoever wins. For those, and yes, that is the Starfish Club. And I think they're done though, so we shouldn't have too much more interference. I'll be, be back. No, I'm not gonna do that. What? You good, buddy? You are. You should be able to. You should because uh, then you can hear what's going on in the match. What's that? Do you want to be able to lean back? Okay. And we're live. 
who is playing. It's is it uh, DDRM and Osiris? Okay. So we have DDRM and Osiris up on stream. Let's see if I can get. We're gonna see Wolf Snake. Okay. Sounds about right. My vision is really bad. I accidentally clicked Terry. That's okay though. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, here we go. Game, uh, I believe this is Loser's Finals? No, this is Lunar, Loser Semis. Loser Semis? Okay, yeah. thank you for the update, Jordan. No problem. Um, all right, here we go, about even. Osiris getting the, his master plan oh already in work. Guy. Wh which guy? Corn Nut Gamer. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you wanted to commentate, Jordan. No, it's just the whole thing. Is so <laughs> That's fine. He, he, he was commenting you. So he was complimenting you the entire Thank time you were playing, so, so be nice. Oh, yeah. Yep, the truest. Makes it back with Wolf Flash just barely above ledge. And that down air out of shield. How fast is Snake's down air out of shield? Do you know, Riker? I would think it's like grand 12. I don't know. It's a pretty good out of shield option. It also pushes him up a little bit, kind of gives him a jump. Yeah, that. That was smart. Yeah, it was some good damage on that for sure. And nothing Peter Run could do about it. Took but, stock. yeah, taking a stock with up smash. He can say something about the stock in general, though. Getting a jab oh, game. Nice. That is so sad. Happens to the best of us. And DDRM is certainly the best of us. He's one up. Oh, didn't quite see the grenade there. And blasters into it. Gets Gotta the get up airs. Oh, yeah. Make it another one. Went for a back air. I think he should have went for another up air. Ooh, Cypher bouncing him away from ledge a little bit, giving Osiris a little room. So that's where that jump came into Oh, yeah. So he just barely whiffed the S match. Yeah. That, was, that was pretty cool. Oh. Oh, no tech off the Nikita. I don't know if he could have teched it. Good games. And Osiris is up one. Is DDRM going to go next? That is the question. Does he want to make everyone cry? <laughs> Does he want to make people cry? I'll have it at the ready just in case. Sticking with Wolf. Same matchup. Let's go. I wouldn't think that the Nest Snake match. Maybe I'm really uneducated, but I don't think the Nest Snake matchup is terribly snake favored. What makes it that way, do you think? Uh, probably Psy Magnet. A lot of explosions going off. Maybe dissuade Osiris from using as many grenades and uh, and up smash and things like that, C4. Uh, getting some healing off that is, is useful. But also, Wolf has a reflector, and uh, it, it's coming to play a little bit, but not not maybe as much as, as DDRM would like it to do for him. He's still getting hit by, by a lot of, uh, of fire effects, you know? Yeah. So Ogre B is, is not here tonight, uh, he, I, I, I'm not sure where he's at actually, I'm not sure what he's up to, but uh, he, he was not in tonight's uh, Living Room Legends tournament, uh, he was instead replaced by our, our friend from, Saint, from that's living in St. George currently, uh, Boggle here, that is that. playing some banjo and sheep, is that, is that what we saw tonight? That was, oh, got a nice two frame right there. Yes, that is indeed correct. Did you play any DK? No. Oh, unfortunate. I didn't trust it. You didn't trust DK? No. Wow. 
Wow. The, the grenade maybe saving him from, I don't know, Snake's recovery is really good, so I don't know if it would have even been a gift, so. Wow, grenade into Cypher. Snake's doing true combos even when he doesn't mean to. Sweet spot. The Long sweet cover. spot of Wolf Flash. He's gonna take it opposite side. Goes for the two frame, doesn't quite get it, but moving DDRM off stage, not quite finding the F smash on the Wolf Flash. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. Tongue twister. Yeah. Oh, does not see the C4 and get sent packing from that one, but still got one stock to work with. He would definitely bait his head. Yeah, uh, like and, and Snake's crouch is so low that the blaster just will sail right over his head. So that, the, that tool that's usually really great in neutral for Wolf is kind of useless uh, when, when that's happening. And, Snake can still react just as fast, you know, it, uh, out of his, his crouch, so. That's the fifth down air. Oh! Just one stop, huh? Unfortunate buffers. The air dodge off of Cypher, I think. Took him off with some. Yeah, C play. Cypher was, was ready, to, ready to do some work there. Cypher, I think, doing more work in that match than Nikita did. So this is a best of five, I believe. So we're gonna see a game three between these players. And DDRM is probably wanting to make it a game four and a five to uh, go to losers finals, which I believe is Dan. Dan is playing, oh, it's Day. Dan or Day, one of the two. Oh, that was the best of three, all right. Cool, cool. Losers finals. Here we go. It's Dan versus Osiris. Probably gonna see some Zelda Snake. That, if if I had to guess, I would assume that Dan is gonna go Zelda. Um, which Zelda has tools. It, if they're the not the most amazing tools to deal with Snake's kit, they're still tools to deal with Snake's kit. That's uh, true. Dan also has been playing ZSS a little bit. But uh, I don't know if he's comfortable enough to Z with the ZSS to play against Osiris. I feel like Zelda is a better matchup. Definitely. At, le at least at this point in, uh, in Dan's training there. I think ZSS, it, it, Snake's aerials are really, really good, but a lot of the time they're really, really punishable. So I think ZSS can punish Snake's aerials really well. But. I think Dan Zelda is definitely going to be the way to go. Because Neutral B, reflecting everything, and uh, Phantom is going to interrupt a lot of hitboxes on the ground, eat up some grenades maybe for him. That which could is be just as affected deal. by uh, grenades and stuff, because Phantom is kind of uh, fragile with mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm. It's interrupted by one of the women. Yeah. Lots of NRI. Oh, I have to... I did not click CJ. Why isn't it letting me click Dan? You're seeing me click Dan, right? Okay, there we go. I was clicking Dan. It wasn't letting me click Dan. You put it on loser's final? Yep. yep. Sexy man. We are indeed gonna see Zelda. Going with dark hair Zelda. I'll, I'll hurry and swap it really quick. I think it's that one. Am I correct? No? Uh, I think that's right. Right? That that's the that's the icon for that Zelda? I thought that was the link between worlds and thoughts. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Alright, here we go. Losers finals. As usual, we got a, a little bit of vacuum action in the background, but uh we, we kinda we get a deal. Uh, that's what happens here vacuum at Living League Legends. Oh yeah. Is that a Luigi trail? Yeah, vacuum action is it's it's a <laughs> Luigi's Mansion term. I see. Uh, in, in the tutorial, it's uh, you can hold uh, one of the buttons and the vacuum just... And it sucks up debris out of the carpet. Yeah, uh, all, all of the debris. You know, it's a dusty mansion. Mm-hmm. 
with coins everywhere under the carpet and behind the drapes and things like that. Fairly even. Uh, Dan is a little bit of, at a little bit of a deficit. Deficit, uh, not so much anymore after I messed up saying that word. Wow, <laughs> Cipher kind of eating the first hit of that upbeat for him. Dins fire side B, doing a little damage there. Dan doing the elite smash special edge guard. With the <laughs> yeah, with Zelda. Charging F smash a ledge. Why not? Not getting punished for it, so... It's an essential part of Zelda's kit. Oh, yeah. In case you and, aware. Uh, another good thing I didn't think about is Cypher can sometimes interrupt people's edge guards uh, of Snake a lot of the time. Uh, Phantom doesn't really have to worry about Cypher. It, it will just go through, so... It, it, it's, uh, it's one of those weird hitboxes that yeah. Dan doesn't have to worry about. Gets the spike, you're right. It's true, though. And, and up tilt. Even stuff. Dan put his B button to work as well as Osiris. These are the these are the B special characters, so you don't blame them. Good. Good yeah. Install right there. So something I, I didn't really think about, if a grenade is sitting on the ground, it's whether it's reflected or not, it's just going to hit you, right? Yeah. So, Phantom scooping off ledge, gonna take Osiris to the blast zone there. Let's see if he can even it up. And as I talk, as I live and breathe, there's the up tilt. And the online snake is complete without that up tilt out of shoe. <laughs> Lots of explosions, lots of magic, lots all over the screen. Oh yeah, that's a good move for it. <laughs> that wow, that that was smooth. Dan in a position to edge guard. Alex for the Phantom and F Smash combo. Grenade. Grenades are just kind of disrupting his whole system there. Ooh, that was yeah, that was a close one. Inspire almost, almost, yeah. Dan just threatening with these kill moves. The grenades probably, they're, they're not going to kill unless they're really far off stage, but still disrupting anything that, that Dan's trying to set up here. And Osiris in a position to edge guard. Nikita not quite hitting, oh. but getting caught on the upper side of, of up B with, with Nikita. Was that technical? Was the question? I don't think so. I think uh, he was... Above 130, I think. So I think I think Nikita just blasted him. I'm I'm glad that the people on stream could hear the the ukulele in the background, Re reading the comments back. It was so so simple. Yeah, as uh, we found out. Uh, from DDRM's questioning, uh, that was SUU's Starfish Club uh, singing their favorite campfire song song here in the living room. Uh, SUU insane. living room, even though it's Wednesday where the esports are, are uh, everybody else comes to play as well. So. And an unfortunate SD right there. SD, yeah. Maybe that's a play. Dan giving us a, a classic, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There is something good. Yeah, that, that's going to be a nair straight to the blast zone. 
he's he's got that down pretty he's, good. He's making the deficit back up. Dan getting around 70% of extra credit from that unfortunate SD in the first stock. Grenade pulling him out of up B on the ground there. Almost got that elevated. Got got the good uh, the good DI on that. Uh, Osiris does. He, he knows the tricks. He's played Ty. He's played Dan. So And up tilt. Gonna take it. Zelda pretty light. So I think above 90 it's probably just a kill. Parries the Den's flame. It's just a battle of the explosions right now. Ooh, Osiris going out there, catching the backside of up tilt. We're going to have to check with a, with a third party to see if that really hit, because I, I don't know, man. He's a little up in the air. Could be. And I think this one may have also been a best of three. They, they, they are discussing the matchup right now. I think, I think, uh, think, think uh, probably over. Oh, no. I guess we're going back in. Best of five. And here we go. Game three. The king and queen of the B button. An unfortunate title. <laughs> An unwanted title. I, th I think when players play these characters, they, they know what they're getting into. Yeah, poor Gates. <laughs> yeah. Gets the lightning kick. And honestly, I think the knockback scaling on that move. I, I stand by the fact that that move is significantly better than Falcon's Knee. That, that may be a hot take, but I think Lightning Kick is really good. I'm just Falcon kick. Speaking okay. of getting the short hop, we are indeed getting some Pog Dans in the chat, Pog Dans in real life. Snake F tilt. Got those two hits, and then dash attack, extremely good move. Uh, Jordan is not currently on, Mike. It's, uh, it's me, Braxton Woozy, and uh, Boggle Riker. Uh, so, unfortunately, Jordan, not playing some friendlies right now. Not a, not a huge fan of commentating, but uh, yeah. Uh, hey Wave, how, how's your night going? Where, where have you been, man? Riker, have you met Wave? I have. You have He's the Ridley guy. He is the Ridley guy. Uh, sick. He, he's been trying to do, um, he's been trying to do some Mega Man stuff. Mega Man's pretty cool. Wow, Dan taking that. <laughs> taking that two stock up. Keeping his foot moving. Not even above 50%. Pog Dan's in the chat. Um, and Pog Champs in the chat as well from, from, from yours truly here on the mic. Go ahead and I don't know what you're talking about. claim your comment there, Riker. Potato Chip states, yo, where <laughs> am I, Pog Champ emo? <laughs> <laughs> he says yeah, that's not him. First. <laughs> Could be anyone. And here we go. I forgot to update, update the score. We're on game four. Who are you rooting for in this matchup, Riker? And I'll, and I'll Biden. You're, oh, <laughs> you're, oh, sorry. Sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong game. <laughs> wrong matchup, wrong matchup. I, uh, it's 2-1. Dan's keeping his foot in the door. 
And as much as I hate to see his Zelda win, I might just have to. You might root for some pod games. I'll, I'll just, just, I'll make things interesting. I'm gonna root for Osiris, and so we'll balance out and be unbiased. Deal. And and plus, when I when I tease Dan, uh, he can't be mad. What do you mean? Oh. He, he doesn't have the capacity for it. Oh, true. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he, he's too nice to be mean, is what I'm saying. Except when he's playing Smash. Yeah. He's a heartless bastard. <laughs> he is indeed. <laughs> and he'll smile at you. And he'll wave at you. Oh, and he'll go, I'm now. just having fun. This is just how I play. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending you can't hear me. But right now, very close to even. That up air is very strong. Almost and took it. Almost took it from Snake. Oh, that's and just, uh, yeah, the, those aerials have no right being as good as they are in such a terrible character. You know, everybody says Zelda's not that good. She's what people say mid tier. <laughs> No. Uh, I wonder if, why if we've seen so many online. <laughs> Must be an indication of something. Getting a lot of damage from nowhere on this on the Zelda. Wave, I think, uh, asking for some some six snake clips, and there we go. Got the sticky. That that's uh, that's what you, that's what we get. That's the best you'll get tonight. Yeah. Sorry. The the man's just gonna seal it. Unless you can get a forward air spot. That would no be pretty cool. Using that down air. Just it after a short hop. Ooh, F smash, not quite there. Oh. Wow. I don't know what quite made him tech into the stage. That forced him to tech into the stage there. I didn't quite see it. Nice get up attack. Good, good option from Dan. Just trying to be evasive as, as evasive as he can, doing a pretty good job, but trying not to get get hit by those those burst kill moves from uh, Snake. Ooh, the chase down, reading a roll. Very smart from Dan. And up air, Dan kind of clawing his way. Oh, but I jinxed him a little bit. Uh, got got clipped by the very tip of up tilt, uh, and we're gonna get an interview here from Dan. Dan, come here. Oh, we're not he, getting an interview. He get, he put his hand in. Here. He put his hand right on the right on the camera and said no interviews. Can I look at my suit? Sure. You you want to jump in for him or me? I don't, I don't mind. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Riker is uh, gonna go hit up some more friendlies, and we're gonna. Hear DDRM jumping up on stream. What's that? All right, uh, and we'll see. Uh, Wave says goodbye, Riker. Love you. And uh, that's two inches. <laughs> the, the fateful final words of the night from our pal Boggle. And so we are now to. Uh, did winners finals get played on another setup? Unfortunately, it did. Okay, so. This will be grands. We're gonna see grands here on stream. It's gonna be Osiris versus Day. Or yep. okay. Very there, nice. Oh, there are rare situation where Osiris is fighting fighting from the loser's side. Did, who, who took him out of winners? Uh, oh, Dan did it earlier. Oh, it was Dan. Okay. So, so Osiris getting the get a bit of, of a run back there. Very nice. Yep. Yep. Taking it. And Osiris in in deep preparation mode here. Just taking his favorite songs. To of course, some of them are Metal Gear. The question that now, though, is if we're, he's going to do Metal Gear for Snake, or are we going to see Persona fight me or fo Persona music for Joker if he pulls him out? 
So I'd be very surprised if he does pull him out in this match. Yeah, I, I can only assume that uh, that Snake Ken is is not very fun for Ken. Um, not many characters are fun for Ken. Against, actually, fun and put. Not many characters have fun against Snake. Very true. So here we go, connecting the controllers, and we'll get it started. Day got some low battery problems. You're on stream. If his if his controller dies, we gotta DQ him. Yeah. That's that's the law. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep, you're here to hear here, <laughs> folks. It is now a law and it was passed by the woozy Congress. By by the the bad player on stream, so it counts. Well, actually, no. It's an executive order by yeah, by Lucy. by the dictator. That is the one of the two voices on stream. And uh, if Potato Chimp doesn't stop commenting in our in our Twitch chat, I'm gonna have to give him a perma ban. I'm sick of seeing him here. Rude. Here we go. <laughs> Osiris off to a good start. But Ken, definitely not an alien to, to racking up damage, so. Yep, when he finds the openings, his dam he can get like 30 damage at a time. Of course, Snake's getting 10 da damage constantly throughout the match and occasionally converts it into a combo. Ooh, oh, just almost converting there. Yeah, that would have been sick. Yeah, I think just a little less damage on him and that would have been maybe true there. Oh no, yeah, but it's gonna get eaten up tilt punish for that sure you can. He just wanted to end him, but you take that risk and you that's the price you can pay. Ooh, going for down air. Getting air dodge though. Gets forced off stage. Bad place for Ken to be and a good place for Snake, of course. Snake's ledge trapping is legendary. Just because of how many projectiles he can put down. You you have to be really patient when getting through, through Snake's Flight Oh, traps. wow. The full length of Shore, you can not connect in there, so that would have been a kill. No, nope, it's going to get punished. Oh, look. Oh, I think he was going for a grenade combo there. That was a bit confusing, but it did. Just would have been an interesting if he got it. Just didn't quite work out that way. Yep, you, there's one yep. where you get caught. Grenade. Pushing him off legs there. And another stop. And gets a grenade combo for like 30%. Ooh. Get, gets, escapes the grab. Doesn't get caught by that C4, but gets caught by the down, down air. Snake's down air is actually crazy. It's three frames. Which, with the universal short hop of three frames, is a six frame out of shield. Wow. That's as fast as, that is about as fast as, as rolling fortress. No. Nope. Ooh, not quite finding the C4 on that one. Yep, it, the stocks are even. That up tilt could have been it, but not gonna find it that, there. But but we are playing against Ken and not Ryu, and but the up smash. screen splat, and that's a game. Yep, Smash is gonna do it. It would be a bit sad to see this go down to a 6-0 six, sweep, but we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, guys, it put, this might be, they might need your energy to take down Osiris. And where I will we be going? I think I dropped my wallet somewhere in here. Oh, uh... Well, could you just get so I can see? Yeah. It's camo. Okay. Do you want me to help you find it? Jordan, you want to jump on stream really quick?
Uh, commentary really doesn't help Jacob find his wallet. Yep, losing your wallet is not a good thing. Yeah, that's not really the play. You guys were all about the Pog Dams, but what about the Pog Jordans? Gosh, you guys. Here we go, game two. Yeah. Nope, he's going to get punished for that. Top Smoppy. From that game, is this is the way he goes for This? I think Fortnite might be Wave. Okay. And the up smash stuff, stuff out today's first stop. Yep. Right now, it just seems like Cyrus is, is just in today's head. Yeah, I, I like Fortnite too. They, they taste good. And there's another down air. That was a nice neutral B to get back on stage, but it, nope, it does get stuffed, and there's an up tilt for the second stock. But Cyrus has taken only 38%. You, you gave him, bro. <laughs> Gets a sure you can combo in the air. You ever jump back on there? Yeah. Not having a good time? What's going on? Oh, it, it just sucks. I don't know what to Not say. I'm like, uh, up that to sure you can, <laughs> is going to take a stock, though. Not getting three stocked here. Can they bring it back? What? Let's see. Oh, that was an odd clink. I don't even know what move they used to clink with that up to. It's caught by the Nair. And the Nikita is going to snuff out the recovery. Yeah, it's, it's a real tough one. Yep. Ken's options to get around it are not very good. Right. Too. And as soon as Tatsu's out there, it's kind of like he's just eating the hit, the hit there. Yeah. It's... And, and to get horizontal distance on Ken's recovery, he has to Tatsumaki. So it's a, it's a really... It's probably a match that Ken generally struggles with, like more than most going through struggle yeah. with this. Like, right. I think it. I mean, Dave has won a match against the Cyrus in the past, but that, but more often than not, this is uh, Osiris doesn't struggle too much. Mm. Headed to Smashville. Hmm. Honestly, I'm wondering if we'll ever see Dave pull out his a, bo a pocket. Like, uh, I know he is a Rob guy. I don't know if he's played Rob any time recently. I think he's been mostly Ken this year, so. Yep. There's another down air. And stuffing out is with him out with the nair gets caught by the up smash this is just <laughs> yeah the pressure the snake can put out on the ledge is just brutal nope doesn't find the punish opportunity and that combo gets stuffed out by grenade wow. That Under is, the platform does have quite a big hitbox on that C4. It's surprisingly large uh, for the size of the Also keep in mind that Snake has a one frame oh. grenade, so it, he can escape pretty much any com anything but the most true of combos with it. That was a nice parry, no. but once again... <laughs> grenade so? interrupting the Shoto parry game, which is usually extremely strong. And reads the roll. Day is clearly very frustrated. Oh my god. <laughs> no 
a comment. Just poking in there, trying to find something to clear this stock off the board. But those grenades just proving to be a real disruptor for the, the flow of Ken's gameplay. And, oh, wow, that was actually a pretty sick combo. <laughs> <laughs> They're responding with, that was hell. Hey, there's all the explosions. It's, it's hell as directed by Michael Bay. So here we go, bracket reset. Both players now in losers, correct? Yep. Yeah. So here we go, starting with game four, technically. But uh, game one of the final grand finals set. match. Set. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, set. Because it, it's just one match, but right. it can go to reset if the loser side wins the first set. It's one there. That's a Day looking a lot better right now. We'll see if he can keep the momentum up, though. Using grenades himself, not a bad plan. Yeah, he's the... Is he reading when he's pulling out the grenades? If that's the case... I don't know if he it, really needs to. I think oh no. in this matchup... Oh, oh. so sad. Oh, that is so... Yeah, that is going to... Hurt. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a momentum killer, but if Day can clear this stock off the board, it won't do too much. He he had a pretty sizable lead on that first stock. Just Going for a funny punch, why not? I think he should have gone for a kill there, honestly. And fair into up tilt? That works? <laughs> Day just needs to find a kill. No! Is it able to get the edge guard there? Okay. Get, get, just causes Osiris to SD? Well, I guess that works. Nope, just not quite going to do it. Gets his approach stuffed out by stuffed by up tilt. I think Ken and Rio on the heavier end of the middleweights, so. Yeah, uh, actually, well, I think that that Snake is a he he heavyweight. Snake, I believe, is technically a heavyweight. Rio and Ken, though, I, I just mean that that up tilt that didn't quite kill at 120, which yeah. is yeah, pretty I crazy. Rio and Ken are a bit on the hef heftier side of middleweights, for sure. Oh, oh wow. This is, that that was, was a great tech. That was some pretty interesting offstage shenanigans. They doing a much better job of playing around grenades this game. Yeah. Gets uh, a fair kill, but still, this is going to be a miracle for Day to pull, pull off. Just, nope. Oh, not, not quite there. Yeah, the dash attack, it cannot kill, which is good, because if it could, it would be, it would be broke, straight up broken. Yeah, and at that percent, not a whole lot you can do about the down throw up tilt. I think nothing you can do at that yeah. point. If the snake player is hitting up tilt, it, it'll be an up tilt. Yeah, that, it's unfortunate that he SD'd. He might have been able to take that game if he hadn't, but such yeah. is life. And buffer system. Gotta oh, yeah. love the buffer system. And it looks like... Dave's really spending a lot of time on this pick out or pick. Headed to small battlefield. Small battlefield going to maybe bring it a little closer range for Ken. Well, haven't they been playing on this stage a lot? I, I think so. Yeah, I, uh, I, it's not a terrible stage for anybody. So. Yeah, it's. 
I mean, it kind of replaced PS2 as the go-to, and it was kind of designed for that purpose. Right. Focus canceling, throwing that uh, Osiris's rhythm a bit. And there's another down there punish. There's an wow. up tilt. Just going for two up tilts there. Gets forced off stage. This could be ugly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, not gonna. There's just not a lot Ken can do against that. Yeah, especially recovering from low. Because uh, not not a lot. There's like no hope of focus canceling there. So, and an air dodge is. Yep. You're you're dead if you air dodge down there. So. Oh, he almost got, but he does find enough smash, taking, allowing him to take that stock and perhaps keep this close. The grenade, getting a nice conversion off of that. Is that up air? Yeah, I think I think it's up air. Uh, up air is uh, is no. is kind of the the early combo he is up air for you. Osiris wanted a roll read. That, that down throw of Snake wow. is so... It's very unique in the fact that it just creates a tech chase pretty much any right. time. Just an auto option read situation, so... Sure, you not quite there. Good DI on it. Yeah. Gets caught by the grab. Gets, and Wow, gets clipped by the... I think the very last bit of dash attack there, sending him yeah. back in towards the stage. Gets the roundhouse conversion, and that allows him to take another stock. Can't? Are we finally going to see Day take a game here? Ooh, good conversion there. Yeah. This, suddenly he has the lead. This is a very ugly. Yeah, that's. You never want to be in that situation again. And that might that's be. That's the confirmed. Nope. Not quite. Good DI on it. And Snake is a heavy, heavy <laughs> character. Not not Bowser heavy, but heavy. Dash attack there, creating an edge guard. And, and the, there we go, no tech. But, well, it was a red tech. Oh, yeah, couldn't tech that. All right. So, that, day taking one. Yeah, not going down. Not going to get completely stomped this match. Maybe he'll be able to win. Who knows? Wave sending out some pog days in the chat. Yeah, that was a much better one for Day. Definitely playing around all those explosives much, much better than that first set. And wow. there's a nice way to start this one. Yeah, the early damage. This is where... Yeah, that's just, if you do get nice neutral get up against uh, Ken, you are, you have made a mistake. At least if they're ready for it. And uh, the spot dodge, shielding the grenade blast there. And yeah, suddenly it's yeah. looking like they might be on. He, on he's he's got some, some real momentum here. This is how the last game started as well. And uh, and I, oh, well the the first game, excuse me. Yeah. And uh, we'll see if Day can keep the momentum from this this really great start. Yeah, all he needs here is a one sure you can to take the stock. Nice dodge on the and get the and back air. And Tatsu was it was it the beginning of Tatsu or was it back air? It was back air. Ken, Ken's. Oh yeah, Tatsu. Ken's Tatsu carries. Yeah. Oh, and he, Osiris going for the forward smash to get Gimp. Ooh, grenade screwing up that confirm there. That, that sure you can isn't going to pan out, but it got him out of harm's way. Sending out the true input Hadouken there. And, and sending it at about a medium pace. And this is going to be edge guard. Oh, oh I, that was actually a really good option, uh, electing to be sent that, that way instead of being sent out. He got through that one by Shoryukening it. 
narrowly getting back to stage and not and denying the edge guard. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That grenade stuffed out what almost certainly would have been a Nikita chance. But the up tilt is going to do it. An up tilt. Uh, I think he might have tried to focus cancel there. Uh, if, if he maybe carried out the focus, which isn't always the best option, if he carried it out, maybe he could have lasted through there. But got plenty of extra credit off that first stock. Get stuffed, the approach gets stuffed out by up tilt. And, and that comp, potential kill, kill combo got stuffed by a grenade. Suddenly he's stu getting stuffed out by grenades a lot more. Yeah, uh, Osiris playing much more conservatively this stock. Getting the axe kick there. And, and the C4. Yep, allowing Osiris to, to take the lead. That, it is. Wow, cross stage, it is gonna take it. Roundhouse. Yeah, Good that move. roundhouse, it, it, it is crazy. That if down tilt is gonna get stuffed by grenade. Nope. Just going for the, and gets sent back off stage by the grenade. Wow, what? two frame from grenade there. Yeah, and also can, or you can does have a hit it's an active hitbox oh yeah you're right that no he went tried to go for an interesting attempt to convert that further that could be it wow yep with rage that sure you can already terrifying in its own right becomes straight up monstrous and day figuring something out about this matchup in between the last set and this one yeah, this is. Yeah, they might be on on pace to win. Here he is. Day is on tournament point. Catches the 2% from getting hit by the actual throw hitbox of Grenade. Nope, he's gonna get down aired out of nuts dripping. Once again, stuffed out by up tilt. Wow, and all and these explosives just up carrying him back up into the air. And get a grab punish there. Nice landing in the fair. Another up Ooh. tilt. Not quite going to do it, and focuses that one. Doesn't even have to worry about it. Nice punish. And Osiris fishing a little too hard there for, for that up tilt. Breaks Getting it. that tech, though, and yeah. up smash. Yeah, it has, a, it has a ground hitbox that can convert into the missile if you get it. Let's see if they can get get a kill soon, or if this... Or if it, or Fox Cyrus is just going to run away with this. Certainly not looking too great right now. Yep. Ken, however, does have some very explosive potential and confirms, so... Narrowly avoids the C4. Snake, however, having actual explosives. That's interesting. He's trying to break the Cypher, and the Shoryuken is will do it at that percent. Especially with Rage. He is making great use of the Hadouken onto stage. Definitely. But I think Osiris could have gotten an up tilt off of that ferry, probably. Ooh, and the grenade timer there, catching him off ledge. And there's the yeah. guaranteed up tilt. Nice stash attack. Yeah, Day is doing a great job not getting caught by the C4s. And the true Hadouken finding its mark. We, we take that percent. We take that. Interesting use of the down air to get in, on the stage. Nope. Ooh, not finding the confirmed. Yeah, Good use of grenades there. Oh, no. 
Oh, oh going for the edge guard. Oh. And taking it to game five of grand finals. Final set of the night versus Day and Osiris. Ken mm -hmm. and Snake. Question one. And now your final map, final game. Whoever wins takes the tournament tonight. All right, here we go. Getting those early percent grenade confirms there. Yep, Day is just getting stuffed out by the grenades again. That's not, that's where when he starts to really lose control of this match. Nice air dodge, but the, his dash attack gets stuffed out by off tilt. It, the wow, it, and it didn't even trade. That was just plain out snake all day. That was. Pretty crazy. Cyrus is running circles around Day right now. Hasn't even taken, finally takes a hit with that Hadouken. Get, converts that into Nair. But Day did gain some momentum midway to this matchup. He can get it figured out. There is still a chance. But Osiris. That wow. is going to do it. Nicely done. Keep that with it. Suddenly, he looks like he might have, still have a chance after all. He's gonna get grabbed for that trouble. Ooh, and down there, there. Good use of the up tilt, great option. Just, just a great move all around. Nice parry there. And a parry right back from Osiris. Ew. Try to convert that into fur further damage. Oh, that you should have gone for the Shoryuken there. Nope, not gonna get a get anything there. That it goes for it raw, but does find the roundhouse, and, and it's down to the wire here. Forty-three percent. That's that's a deficit, but it's but it's not small much. beans for Ryu or for Ken. Excuse me. Yeah, just one combo and he can. Burn. Even it right back up. Ooh, but these grenades. Just popping them for 10% each time. Gets, gets caught by the dash attack. Nice grab, mix up. And another, but the finisher hit misses. That is unfortunate for Osiris. Ooh, Does goes to the spot dodge, but. Gets red there. That might wow, be sure you no! taking it. <gasps> Day wow. taking the match. Nicely done. But this might be the first time he's done it this semester. Heck. <laughs> Nicely done by Day taking that match. Yeah, good good games from both players. Well, that was as down to the wires as it probably could have been with those characters. Yeah. It was sure you can or up tilt, and it, either way, it was gonna, it was gonna be an explosive finish. So, uh, with that, we are done for the night. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Everybody, stay safe out there. Wear masks. Uh, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer if you need to. And uh, be respectful to, to those you disagree with. Oh yeah. Uh, and with that, we're going to say goodnight here from Living Room Legends at SUU. I'm Woozy. I'm DDR Master M. Uh, goodnight, everybody.